Today we are going to discuss the Greer and Grierson coat of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer a genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned azure lion rampant ore armed in lagoons between three antique crowns of the second on a canton argent and oak tree eradicated, surmounted by a sword and bent sinister and signed on the point with a royal crown all proper, Crest and eagle displayed proper, charged in the breast with a quadrangular lock argent. This belonged to several different branches of the family, including Greer of the Grange in Moy in County Tyrone, Ireland. There was Major John Greer of the Grange, who was grandson of John Greer of the Grange. And that John was Deputy Governor of Counties Armagh and Tyrone. There was also John Greer of the Grange, who died in 1742. He had son William Greer of the Grange who had son William Greer, who had son Henry Harper Greer, seen here, born 1821, an artillery officer. It also belonged to the Greers of Tully Lagan in Tyrone. Frederick Greer, born 1829 in the Royal Navy, a Justice of the Peace, was son of Thomas Greer, also a Justice of the Peace. And it looks like they ultimately descended from Sir James Greer, born 1604, of Cape Knock in Dumpershire, Scotland, and of Rock Hall in Alnwick in County Northumberland, who was the fifth son of Sir William Greer of Grierson, born 1567. And lastly, Greer of Sea Park, Thomas Greer, Esquire of Sea Park in County Antrim, born 1837, a Justice of the Peace, High Sheriff, and Member of Parliament for Carrick Fergus, the son of Alfred Greer, born 1805, of Dripsy House in County Cork, who was the son of Thomas Greer of Tully Lagan. And here we see some of the estates. This would be Sea Park, Tully Lagan Manor. Next is Ghouls, a pale ermine charged with a bent argent crest, a hand vested ghouls cuffed or holding a trefoil vert. I wasn't able to find the owner of this coat of arms or the grantee. If you know, please let us know in the comments. Next is Ghouls on a fest between two fetterlocks and chief or and a boar's head erased of the of last and base, a mullet asher, crest, a fetterlock ore. This is for the Grierson family of Milton Park in County Kirkcudbright. Henry Grierson, Esquire, registered this arms in 1875. And here we see Milton Park. Very similar coat of arms for Grierson of Lag in Dumfries, Scotland. The Grierson Baronetcy of Lag in the County of Dumfries was a title in the Baronetage of Nova Scotia created in 1685 for Sir Robert Grierson, a member of the Scottish Parliament and son of William Grierson, who was Laird of Bar Cuhar in Kirkudbright, Scotland. And it looks like they descended from Sir Robert Grierson of Lag, who was son of Sir William Grierson of Lag. And ultimately, it looks like Roger Grierson of Windy Hill, who died in 1513. And it looks like ultimately they descended from Gilbert McGregor or Gregerson or simply Grierson. Ghouls, a satire in chief, Argent, the latter charged with three cushions of the first, Grierson of Lag in County Dumfrieshire, an earlier version of the coat of arms. And the baronets listed here all the way through the 11th baronet who died in 1987. And here we see Lag Tower or the remains of Lag Tower or Lag Castle as well as Rock Hall Tower, which was mentioned. Next, the coat of arms of Andrew Grierson, alive in the year 1665, a Scottish Herald of Arms. Argent, a fir tree growing out of the middle base, vert surmounted of a sword and ben, bearing upon the point an imperial crown proper within a border ghouls, charged with four fetterlocks of the first, crest a branch of fir proper, Somewhat similar coat of arms here without the border, and the crest is a phoenix in flames proper for Grierson of Ireland. Wasn't able to quite ascertain who this was granted to, but possibilities are include but are not limited to Hugh Bolter Primrose Grierson, who died in 1771, a printer. John Grierson of Dooley's Town in Meath. Robert Grierson of Newtown in Meath and Robert Grierson of Dublin. And another possibility would be George Grierson, seen here. He died in 1753. He was a Scottish-born painter. I'm sorry, printer and publisher, who was active in Dublin, Ireland, and whose descendants continued in the book trade of Dublin for several generations, the son of George Grierson, an Edinburgh merchant. 
Very similar coat of arms, the crest out of a ducal coronet or an arm erect proper, holding a key of the first. Another from Ireland that has the same list of possibilities. The crest is a demi-lion rampant holding in the dexter paw a rose. Wasn't able to find the shield or escutcheon for this one. And a similar situation here from one from England with crest a dolphin nayant azure. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer genealogy research service. Link in the description. Thank you very much.